everyone. I'm going to be playing a tune called What Did the Buzzard Say to the Crow, which is a tune I first heard from Hobart Smith when he went up to Chicago and uh, taught and recorded at the Old Town School of Folk Music. It's in the key of G. I'm going to play it through once at a sprightly tempo, and then I'll play it a bit slower so you can try and follow along with the bowings. <laughs> So the thing I always like to do when I'm trying to pick up a tune by ear on the fly is try and determine how many phrases there are. First off, how many parts are there in the tune? So for this one in particular, there's only two parts and an A and a B part. And the A part, if you really break it down, it's only two phrases played twice through total. And they're almost exactly the same except for the last measure is the only difference. So you play those two phrases and then you play them again and that's the whole A part. And then the B part is three phrases because you've got your new theme that you're introducing and then it ends the same way as the A part. Here's the A part. <laughs> I'm mostly playing all separate bowings, saw strokes as they call it, up and down. I am slurring though, the very beginning notes, the three note pickup. And then down, up. So. Those four notes. Down, up, up. Those are the only two that I'm really slurring in this whole A section. So again. Now we'll go into the B part here. Don't get hung up on the exact bowing. I'm happy to do a complete bowing breakdown for you and give you the exact bowings you should use, but most fiddlers didn't play it the exact same way every time. And I think what's more important is to start the phrase on a down bow and do it all separate. Cause then you get that nice really fiddly sounding bowing lick at the end there with the bow pulse. If you need any further guidance on that aspect of bow pulsing or if you need sheet music, please get in touch with me. I do have a complete tune breakdown of this tune as well. Happy playing. <laughs>